Today is going to be a low carb full day of eating, so we're going to heat under 100 grams of carbs. I'm going to show you how you can do it and still reach a high protein amount of roughly around at least 180 grams. Before we get into the food though, I'm going to get on the treadmill and do my morning steps. Right now, just finished off my morning cardio, so I'm happy that is out the way. Today's first meal is going to be scrambled eggs. We're going to have three whole eggs and some ham. I did some almond milk as well. It's not for taste or anything like that. It's literally just to kind of puff out the eggs so you get more volume so it fills you up more. While that's cooking, I'm going to make a nice ice cold drink. But what we're going to have is one of the clear whey proteins. I've never really shown you guys a review, I don't think, on YouTube. So we're probably going to go with the drumstick flavor. And in case you didn't know, with the clear ways, always leave them to settle, never just drink them straight away. So you're gonna see like right now it's cloudy, in a minute it's gonna end up just going clear by itself. And that is I'm gonna add some ice. Other than that, my eggs is now done. So we've got the three whole eggs with a slice of toast. And as you can see, the drink is virtually cleared off. It's been about four minutes so far. But I personally am still a huge fan of the regular like whey proteins you can get. But I know a lot of people like the clear whey's. Plus, because we're aiming for a low carb day, this is a very low carb. I'll put the macros on the screen. Each serving of this is only 1.2 grams of carbs, which is pretty low. So yeah, I'm gonna drink this and eat this. And that is the first meal. Then after that, I think I'm probably gonna go for a walk. It's a pretty sunny day, like really sunny. So I'll go walk to the store and buy some food for later on today. I'll say it time and time again. Three whole egg yolks hits differently. Just taste the flavor is there. Ended up behind the park for about 30 minutes. Did like a nice little workout. I even saw my brother there as well, which is pretty cool. He was with his friends playing basketball in the background. I didn't want to disrupt his game too much. So I kind of left him be for the most part. Never go without a scale. If you ever get stuck with either losing weight or gaining weight, scale, scale, scales. If you don't have one, get one. They only cost like dead cheap. I bought this one for like seven pounds from Lidl years ago. Anyways, ooh, look at the gains. That little part workout gave me a little bit of an arm pump. I've still got my proper weight session to do later today as well. Anyways, what we're gonna do right now is make a chicken stir fry. So we've got some chicken fillets that I've seasoned all in the pan we mixed with 100 grams of egg noodles and 100 grams of the mixed veg and that is going to be the next meal and as you can see the volume that's quite a lot of volume in terms of calories i'm going to put it on the screen but my sum to the top of my head is i think is around maybe 430 calories around that kind of realm as we're aiming for under 100 grams of carbs for the total day personally i wouldn't go the low carb route for the long haul purely because even the meals I have today, even though they are enjoyable, it doesn't give me wiggle room, so I can't really, you're gonna see from today, there may not be that much snacks and stuff in there because the snacks I would typically have like cereal bars, fruits, more things like that are gonna be higher carbs. So in scenarios like these, when you only have literally 100 grams and under to play with, you have to basically have like the plan of what are you going to use your carbs on? Are you gonna have the carb sources with your main meals like I've kind of shown you so far. In, in those scenarios, you have less carby snacks. So you're not gonna be able to have like maybe cereal bars or fruits like you may normally have. Or do you wanna have the, the cereal bars and the fruits and then with your main meals only have vegetables with it. So that's the kind of thing you have to kind of decide upon if you wanna go this low carb route. And anyway, I'm gonna eat this meal now when it cooks and I'll show you guys the next one. And I think the next one after that, I've got two more meals.
Alright folks, so next up what we're gonna make is... What the heck is it? Oh, here it is. <clears throat> we are about to make some steak. It's only a little small steak. I've got to weigh it out properly, but the last one I had, it was three and a packet when I first bought it. Like three medium, well, fairly small. They're thick, but they are pretty small in size. Um, the last one I weighed out yesterday was like 110 grams. I think this one might be a little bit heavier, but I will weigh it out with my trusty scale in a minute and show you guys on screen. But yeah, I'm going to have a steak and I'm going to have it with potatoes and veg. So what I'm going to do though is first off is weigh out the potatoes. Remember today is a low carb day, so I can't have a lot of potatoes. So I think probably maybe get away with 100 grams, if that. Ew. Okay, scratch that. I'm keeping this in the video. Basically, I, I saw our potatoes in the cupboard, right? So I didn't bother go buy some. But I'm feeling them. They are squishy because they are now off. So we are now going to change that because I literally, that was my plan. From yesterday, I was like, you know what? I'm going to have steak, potatoes, and veg. So now I've got to now freestyle it now and try and continue with this video. But this is good because this shows realism for you guys. So what I'm going to have instead, I'm not going to the store to walk right now. Alright folks, I've just been investigating on my fitness pal. I looked at my covers and I found these two pastas. I've got the whole wheat pasta, the tricolor one. Yeah, the macro is virtually the same. So I'm going to go with the tricolor one just because it looks slightly prettier. I'm going to have 25 grams of this raw. So I've found on the app the uncooked version of it because when it comes to pasta, I prefer doing it um, uncooked because I only make one portion to eat. If you know what I mean, I'm, I'm not saving any for tomorrow. If you're someone that like, makes a big pot and then saves it tomorrow, you're better off doing the cooked option because then you just wait out each time you have it. But because I'm only going to eat it all right now, Personally, it's easier for me just to wait, dry, and put it in the pot, then carry on with my rest of my stuff. So when it comes to foods, always make sure that you check in the right thing. Is it the cooked or uncooked version to make sure the macro is on point? Because things like pasta and rice can definitely veer you off if you choose the wrong option. <laughs> that looks like such a pitiful amount of pasta. I've never seen such a little amount. Like legit, that is, that is ridiculous. Partly it is because the pot, the bowl is pretty big, I haven't got a small pot. But it will double up and it is only meant to just like accompany like the veg. It's not meant to be the main like side. Um, hence it being a low carb day. But yeah, I feel like maybe I should have skipped this and just had an apple instead. But whatever, I've already poured it out now. Alright people, I'm quite happy with this meal. This is actually pretty decent. That little bit of pasta, like once it doubles up because the water gets absorbed, it actually doesn't look too bad. Like it looked like in the pot, it looked dis like if I put it back on screen, it did look like despicable. It looked like there was nothing in it. But that's a, but that is the trick of pasta. Many times people overeat or overconsume pasta because when they put the dry pasta in the pot, it looks like nothing. Like I put in, this was roughly around 28 to 25 grams of pasta. Typically for myself, I have around 50 grams of pasta dry weight and that doubles up to around 100 grams and it is quite filling, especially when you eat it with something else. Macros will be on screen, I still managed to make it work on the fly and yeah, so I'm going to eat this now and I'll see you guys for the next meal people. So far I have cooked the bacon, we're about to make an egg white omelette and as I said we're not going to have any eggs in this one because we've kind of reached my three egg quarter for the day so we don't need any more so we're going to stick with just liquid egg whites but this tastes really, really good even without the yolk. I normally taste a big difference in my omelettes when I do add the yolk in like scrambled eggs I do. Anyway that's the case so what I'm going to do now is show you my recipe I'm going to put the macros on screen in a minute uh, but this is simple, my, my go to omelette recipe if you're watching my full day of eatings is usually these recipes chorizo, ham, bacon medallion, spring onion, which really is key. Trust me, if you've made my omelette so far and you haven't added the spring onion, add it. Trust me, it tastes. Trust me, until Kareem made me do it, I didn't realize how much flavor it adds to the omelettes. It literally does set it off. Uh, this and the chorizo is the ones I would definitely say to add in because it really does give the, like an extra spice and flavor to it.
All right, it was getting to the point where the omelette was starting to cook a little bit too quick on the bottom because the heat was pretty hot from the bacon. I forgot to turn it down. If that's the case, just literally take it off the pan. Uh, don't just turn it down because if you do, it'll take a while for the pan to cool down and then literally it's going to burn the bottom. Anyways, this new frying pan that I bought is great. It does not stick. Oh shit, I forgot to put the bacon in it. I blame you guys. I'm trying to slip it in. Flip. This is what happens when you do YouTube. You forget to pay attention to proper things. Right, now I can put it back. There you go. I would always recommend as well, putting the lid on when you're cooking it, um, an omelette, like once you've flipped it, at least once, purely because it makes sure the inside actually cooks properly. Because sometimes when you have to flip it to make sure it doesn't burn, the inside isn't, the top of it hasn't fully cooked over yet. Another thing you can do to, instead of that is to put it in the oven and then cook the other side there. Can you believe I've been wearing this, this face mask thing all day? I just realised I haven't took it off. I even changed it to shorts, but yet still I'm wearing this damn thing. Alright folks, and this delicious egg white omelette is here. Literally, it is going to, I know it's going to taste great, I've had this recipe like a thousand times already. What I sometimes do is put cheese on top of it, uh, just to like a little light layer of cheese and it will melt into it, but I'm not going to do that today. Um, I also want to point out the fact that I was literally going to have this omelette earlier on in the day, but I wanted to make sure and prove a point, because there's too many people out there that truly still believe in like breakfast food and lunchtime food and dinner time foods. And I've got to say, that is one of the worst things you can do, probably because it holds you back in so many aspects. A lot of people are really stuck to that constraint in mind view, and it literally makes it harder for them to hit their macros and eat set meals. Because for example, they'll be like, I can't have omelette now or the last meal of the day because that's breakfast time food. And I always say to me, you need to get out of that mindset. Your body doesn't care. Your body likes nutrients and it likes tasty food. It doesn't give a shit what time it is. You know what I mean? You don't need to stick to it. And I always say to people as well is, like, if you was born in China or if you was born in Germany or if you was born in Australia, your version of breakfast, lunch and dinner is going to be totally different. So the human body does not care. As long as it's good, it tastes good, it hits your macros and it literally serves your purpose. Eat whatever food you want at any time of the day. You know what I mean? There are certain foods that can help with performance, but this isn't it. That's more like if you're going to do a sport, don't sit down and have a massive meal of steak, potatoes, and pasta or something right before a sport because that's going to weigh you down like a rock. Anyways, I'm going to put the macros for this on screen if you haven't seen it already. I want to say thank you to everyone that's actually watched this video so far. I'm glad for those of you that support these four-day beans. If you want to see more, please let me know in the comments down below. In terms of protein, we are probably pretty damn high. We've Ooh, man's got messages. And even if I didn't have the protein shake earlier, we still would have been looking at 175 protein and above. Purely because when you're used to making high protein meals for most of your meals, you don't need to then rely on protein shakes or, or anything like that. You know what I mean? You can have them if you enjoy them and you like them, but it's good when you don't have to rely on them to hit your protein goal. I would always advise everyone to try and make sure you hit as much of your protein as you can from real whole food. Then if you don't reach it, then top it up with protein shakes and whatnot. Anyways, people, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully you enjoy it. Peace. Make a million cash for you flatline. Make a master plan, watch it backfire.